I'm Ryan Brockington for the New Now Next Minute. Folks, history has been made. The Supreme Court has handed down one of the most momentous rulings in the history of the gay rights movement by striking down the Defense of Marriage Act, also known as DOMA. Now all state-sanctioned same-sex marriages will be recognized by the federal government. With a 5-4 to four split, the high court fell in favor of Edith Windsor, who sued the U.S. government over DOMA after she was required to pay more than $363,000 in federal estate taxes after the death of her wife, Thea Spire. Edith famously said, if Thea had been Theo, things would have been different. Edith celebrated her victory against DOMA at New York's LGBT Center with her jubilant supporters. In the wake of the ruling, celebrations have popped up from coast to coast. In New York City, thousands gathered in front of the Stonewall Inn, the birthplace of the LGBT rights movement. In West Hollywood, California, supporters celebrated a double win, the death of DOMA and the end of Proposition 8, allowing same-sex marriages to resume in the Golden State. Regular citizens weren't the only ones celebrating. President Obama tweeted, love is love, and praised the Supreme Court for their rulings. On a personal note, I married my husband less than two months ago here in New York, and, and we now dream of adopting and starting a family like so many others. Now it seems so much more attainable knowing the country we live in recognizes our love. I'm Ryan Brockington for the New Now Next Minute.